This here is one of my little Amazon tree boas. And I've had this one about a year now. And it's really, really small. I have two of its siblings. And they're both much larger than this snake. And it's never really grown that well. When it was young, it didn't eat for several months. And finally I started assist feeding it and it started to eat on its own a few times after I did that. But um, it's been eating well for a while since then. And then a couple of weeks ago, I fed it and it regurgitated. And uh, a couple days after that, I noticed it was acting really strange. It wasn't moving well and it was really stiff. And then it started developing severe muscle problems where sometimes I would pick it up and it would start convulsing. But um, he's a really good snake. He's been a nice pet and he's really pretty. But unfortunately, he's really sick. He has um, some bony proliferations along his spine and you probably won't be able to see them in this video, but I wanted to make it because if anyone else has a sink with this problem, at least they will have maybe some reference to be able to tell what it could be. Now, um, right now the snake is acting very normal and you might not be able to tell that there's anything wrong with it. But sometimes when I pick him up, he starts flailing around like crazy and he can't control his muscles. And it looks kind of like he's having a fit. But um, that only happens usually when he's kind of asleep and I pick him up and I kind of startle him. And then he goes into these fits. But right now you can tell that he's maybe a little bit lethargic seeming. But that's about it. Now he has an enlarged lump lower in his body around where his kidneys and his large intestine are. And we think that that is probably an impaction. Um, what probably happened is he swallowed something, maybe a piece of wood, and it became impacted and it perforated his intestinal wall and that allowed him to get a bacterial infection. Now what happens after that is probably that the bacterial infection got into his spine and his rib cage, and that's what's causing the bony proliferations. Now if you run your fingers along his spine you can feel that he's a little bit kinky and he has some bumps. And those are, we think, due to the bacterial infection that's eating at his spine. In snakes, this is known as Paget's disease, um, or osteitis deformans, and it can also affect people and dogs and other animals as well. But it's really unfortunate because there isn't a cure, and even if I could get rid of the bacterial infection at this size, there's not a whole lot that I can do about the impaction. So I'm going to have him euthanized and he's going to be donated to a specimen collection kept by the University of Texas and hopefully he'll be able to be used for scientific research or for learning about morphology and about different species for students. He was taken to the vet today and um, the vet that I took him to believes the same as I originally thought about it being a Paget's disease and he was nice enough to take some x-rays so I have x-rays of him but it's really hard to tell that anything's wrong with him because the bumps are really small and he's such a tiny snake so you can't really tell a whole lot on the x-rays He's really small for his age. And he's kind of emaciated because he hasn't been eating for a while. And he's been losing weight.
but you can tell he's very alert. And if I run my finger down his spine, I can feel some bumps. And you can see right there, there's a little lightish colored part, and that's a bump. I don't think you can see it very well, but it's right there. And I can feel other bumps that are smaller. One morning I found him lying on his back, and I thought he was dead. But then I turned him over and he started acting normal again. So that's about it.